After a mild winter up to this point, we wanted to know what effect it could have on ticks. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli getting answers on what experts are saying and how you can protect yourself. If those mild temperatures go through the spring, we'll be seeing a lot of bites really starting now. At Tick Report in Amherst, Paul Killinger and his crew are always on the clock studying ticks, whether it's June or January. We think of a tick season as being in the summer. They're not really paying attention to that. They're looking at temperature, humidity, the length of the day. After the warmest January on record in Western Mass, Killinger says he's monitoring an uptick this spring if mild temperatures continue. Here at the lab, a team of experts are standing by and can get you your results in as quickly as 24 hours. Whether you're going to test or not, it's always good to write the date you removed it, who it was biting, where it was. At Tick Report, the team conducts DNA and RNA testing to find out what germs the tick is carrying. The main uh, tick risk here in the Northeast, which is the deer tick, here's an adult female uh, on screen. You want to catch it while it looks like this before it starts to look like this. Killinger adds the longer the tick is there, the bigger it will be and the greater the chance it is infected. He advises to check yourself, your dogs, and especially your kids under the age of 11. The hair is, is really risky with kids uh, and that's where we see ticks attached for a long time and uh, present the greatest risk. In addition to testing, you can use online resources to discover the risks right in your backyard. You can search by zip code or by state and see what ticks are coming from there, what sort of diseases are they carrying. And always protect yourself with repellents. I really like permethrin treated clothing. Uh, so you can spray your shoes or spray pants that you wear out in the garden or hiking. And that should be good for several weeks. For a full list of resources on how to protect yourself, check out our website, westernmassnews.com. Reporting in Amherst, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.